Just as the pandemic seemed to be easing up, the Delta variant began ripping through our state, causing a surge in cases, even among people fully vaccinated. Today, two of Milwaukee's top doctors addressing the COVID response spoke with area business leaders on what the coming weeks will look like. Mary Jo Ola reports. During the briefing with the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce, the doctors said each person with that Delta variant can spread it to eight others, while the conventional strain would infect two to three people. That mutation is what's moving the goalposts and how we respond. Amid talks of boosters starting September 20th, for those who got Pfizer or Moderna, Dr. Raymond says you're really talking about the people who completed their series in January, so people in nursing homes and frontline health care workers, since data shows the immunity diminishes at about eight months. He stresses that vaccines still work very well. Still gives you great protection from the things that matter. Um, you, you're not going to be as sick. You're less likely to be hospitalized and you have greater than 99% protection from death. I think the concern though is as we go farther out over time that some of those protective effects won't be as strong as they are now and that's why they're recommending getting it eight months out. Surveying certain parts of the country and seeing where they are as far as cases and people in the ICU, Dr. Raymond said frankly that unless more people get vaccinated and take these mitigation measures more seriously, he expects to see a significant surge in Wisconsin in the next few weeks. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. So federal officials now recommending anyone who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine get that booster shot. That would be the vast majority of people vaccinated in Wisconsin, 55% getting the Pfizer, 40% with the Moderna. Just 4% had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine.